Texas topwater trout. Today on 30 miles out. Ready to swim the sun? No. That's a big boy, man. God, I got us on. Get your home. Get out of there. Hey people, what's going on? Me and Damien about to hit the water. Uh, you remember him from a uh, water slide episode. We did an offshore with flying sharks. <laughs> We're going to go hit a place called Calm Brown today. It's a public launch here in Aransas Pass. And yes, back in Texas, man. Back in Texas. Well, we're hitting uh, an old spot. Damien fishes this place a lot. I've done it a couple times. We're going to see what's out here on a north wind day, man. It's kind of cool. High 40s, low 50s. North, northern blue wind. We're at the tail end of the northern. So we'll see what happens, man. Alright guys, we're out here. It's nasty. The wind's blowing. Never really warmed up. The rain stopped. We'll see what happens. Gotta warn it today. Oh, you did not. Hey, that's a nice trout, man. That gum. You know, but I figure where there's one, there's more. Our strategy here is to do a day long drift. We picked a spot a mile and a half back. We're going to paddle all the way to it, put out the drift sock, and drift all the way back to the truck. It should take most of the afternoon. All right, 14 foot piece of cane, y'all. PVC foot. Let's see what she'll do. Test room. Oh, buddy, dude, I can see everything from up here. Holy smoke. So this is another one of my crazy ideas to make the 17T into a push pulling skiff. I just snagged a piece of cane from an empty lot. There's a bunch of cane growing by the house. This one's about 14 feet long. We put a PVC uh, T on the end and it's working like a charm. And uh, I don't have an expensive push pull right now. So this is doing the deal. I think we're going to be able to sight cast on the fly rod and spinning rod when it starts to lay down here early summer. Without a doubt, a trout. Damon, I need to stake us off. Huh? I need to stake us off. No, no, we keep drifting. You just pulled the darn trout out of that. Is that topwater trout? Top trout. No. Top water trout. Dad gummit. I thought you were throwing a jig. Forgive me, but comment below if you gave me these plugs. Somebody gave me these plugs in Pensacola from Texas with Texas flag on them. They're awesome. Damon just proved that they're back here and they're willing to hit top. Temperatures warmed up a little bit. Sky, sun came out a touch, not a whole lot. Still overcast. Perfect conditions for top water. Oh, there we go. Texas top water trout. You know what I'm gonna do? That's my first Texas top water trout in a long time, Damien. We keeping fish or no? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> back in the game. We might make an episode back here yet. Think so? Okay. What are you throwing? I'm switching between the top since you don't have yours in the water right now. <laughs> I got the anchor out, bro. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to get it sideways. And it's a seven pounder, so you ain't going nowhere. Right there. Whoever sent me these, thanks a lot. Ducks your trout. I'm messing around. Damien's fixing to catch another one. I'm gonna go. Well, they're up skinny, Damien. Hey, look at that face run. They're whacking it. Give it yourself home. Oh, man. You're getting too aggressive. Let him have it. Let him have it. I can also put the anchor on the side and then we'll get a side drift, we'll get a side pull. Focus, RJ, focus. Oh, damn it! Just, oh! Yep, oh, no, I missed him. Come on now. It's warmed up, getting hot. This is a good drift right here. I wanna be out of the but I'm talking about speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good speed. We're actually going that way, so your wish is about to... Got him? Yeah. Come on. That's a nice trout. Watch me pull up here. Sticks little glass rattles and all his plastics. Because you drag it on the surface. Oh, did you just get him? Yeah. No, you didn't. Yeah, you did. You got one. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, that's a good one, dude. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Another one, I'm gonna have to go to plastic. I'm enjoying this top water though. Uh, a better fish, man. On top? Yeah, it might be. He might be. Uh, it might be red because he's running hard. Oh, yeah, he's running hard. No, no, it's flashing. It's a trout. It might just be a really big trout. I just put my top water down too. I just put my top water down. No. No. That's a big fish, Damien. Big fish, Damien. Ready to go. Oh, there he is. He's running like a Spanish. Holy smokes, he's fast. Oh, Damien, it's a big one. I knew the top water was going to produce the big one today. Come right here. Come right here. Right here. Ah, son. <laughs> God, dog, boy. That's one of the biggest ones I've seen out here. <laughs> Dadgum, welcome back to Texas. We are definitely in Texas, man. Look at that trout. Boy, that was a beautiful run, wasn't it? He was like running like a Spanish, man. He was growing fast. Sideways. That's the fattest 20 and a half I ever seen. It's a, it's a hell of a fish. It's got a real short tail. These fish were deceiving on how big they were. They were really fat, which made them look a lot bigger than what they were. Dang. 
that gumming. I knew we could do it. There's no doubt. Mm. I'll stop this and do it. Go dog. Top order? Mm hmm. Redfish? Redfish? No. Oh. That was the first red. He just go dogs too much, people. I think it's too aggressive, too loud. Not today, not today. Strike King um, Paddle Tail. Ray Swimmer, buddy. Ray Swimmer. Ray Swimmer, son. Oh, he's doing like yours, man. He's running sideways. Yeah, I think so, bro. Big Trout. Big Trout City. That's a big trout. That gun, man. That's a big one. Got a tackle box in. It's a big one, Damien. Rage swimmer, man. Oh, 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 oh. He's still green, man. He's still green. It's a big one, Damien. Get out of there. <laughs> it's a big one, Damien. There's a leader. There's a leader. Whew. Rage swimmer, son. That's a nice one. Ooh. Now put over here. Oh my gosh, that's a big fish, dude. <laughs> Thanks, son. 24 to 25. Race swimmer, that paddle tail, man, I swear I kill him with that thing. 24-25? Yeah, it might be 23. That's a 3.5 rate swimmer. It ain't even that big. 22. Man, I was some kind of happy and excited. I've only been back in Texas for one day, and bam, a 23-inch trout, and fat at that. My personal best trout is only 24 inches, and it was caught in Pensacola. I've only been back one day. We're at 23 already. I think Texas has got some big trout in store for me and Teresa, boy. Y'all wonder why Blair Wiggins comes to Texas for trout. That's why right there. Been back here for a couple hours goofing off 23 big trout city baby big trout city so this is the race swimmer 3.25 i used to be really addicted to the 3.75 which is slightly bigger but i i learned really quick that if i scale it down just a tad to this 3.25 i would pick up a lot more fish even big fish like this 23 we just got it's now my meat and potatoes that is when I'm not throwing top water, like in this next clip. What? Oh, 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 just turn the camera on too, boy. Yes, sir. Oh, I came off. There we go. Trying to eat orange, man. Trying to eat a tangerine, I got whacked on my top water. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. He ain't no 23, but he's nice. Yeah. It's gone fish in Texas. Gotta have a book in the boat. <laughs> this was a good fish on that Texas topwater. Whoever, I, somebody gave that to me in Pensacola from Texas. Comment below if it's you, please. Oh, it's a skipjack. What? Yeah. That's a big one. It's a real lethargic slip skipjack. Oh, he did? Oh, wow, first skipjack of the season. Damien and I kept catching trout after trout after trout. I lost count. I have no idea how many dozens we caught back here in this one lake. 
and yet still continuing to do our drift. I bet we've only done maybe a quarter mile of the mile and a half drift that we have to do to get back to the truck. We just kept going on and on and drifting on. What a blast. What he's doing as soon as I get a whack on top water, he's throwing the gulp behind it. If they miss it, trying to pick them off. It's actually a pretty cool strategy. Like, like I'm teasing them up, finding them, and then he's picking them off. We're, we're starting to enter that big giant sand flat territory now. I'm trying to make TV, man. Oh, I thought that was a bite. Jeez. Right here, I'm looking for a wake bait. Sometimes when I just get tired of walking the dog, my arms are tired, but I don't want to stop, I go to just a true wake bait, and that way it'll just walk itself and I can just do a straight retrieve, kind of like that orange one right there. Not a man's, a man's crankbait, uh, it, it goes down, but just a straight up wake bait will stay on top just like a top water. You serious? Okay, check it. No, that's a keeper. That's a keeper, man. Good one, man. If you'll notice, Damon's been real sneaky with that gulp jerk shad and a really light jig head. He also pushes in a little glass bead, a little shaker deal. He's constantly picking up fish with it. Cool rig. Oh, I saw the bronze here. You knew that. that All right, you gonna make me switch. All right, I'm switching to plastics or something, but I ain't touching no gold though. Oh, oh, just lost him. Oh, there he is. Doubled up, we doubled up. Doubled up, double trouble. Mine's a dinker. Good for you, man. We're in a bunch of small ones. Tempting. Like it might be a fish, really. Oh, that looks good. Oh, shoot. Wow. What? Yeah. Say what? Get the net. Get the net. Get the net. Get the net. Where's the net? Oh, gosh. Flounder. Bam, son. Flounder pounder. Look at that. <laughs> he just came off. Did he come off? Yeah. I don't know if he's big enough. How many got to be? 14. Just over, right at 14. Right at 14. Right at 14. You want flounder? Nah, not if he's right there. There you go. <laughs> Are you catching fish right now? We're on about, this is about number 30 right here as you're on the phone. Okay, you hit, I'm hit. Catching fish right now. I gotta go. Okay. Huh? Call me when you're not hooked up. Well, that's all day. What do you want? <laughs> what do I want? I'm yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, fish on. Um, okay. Oh, all right, bye. All right, have fun. I'll talk to you after we get off. Bye. We're in them now. We're in them now, boy. I'm about to throw a top water on. Oh, I just got nailed. Oh. You think? You think they'll whack it? It's pretty deep. Look, look. Look right here at the boat. <laughs> right here, Damien. Look. Oh, this one's got some girth to it. Oh, that might be a keeper, boy. Look at this guy. That's a better fish, man. Yeah or nay? I don't care whatever you want to do. Measure him first, he's close. He's real fat, but he's short. Yeah. Well, he ain't hell it. I'll make it. Well, we got, it looks like wide open canal, but we're on some kind of a sandbar. 
16th ounce jig head soft plastic. Oh, I just got the That's how I cut the oh, I just got the oh, there we go. Woo, that was a nice stuff. Is that a double? Double, double. Double trouble. Oh, let's make it away. There we go. Let's make it away. Coming at me. Coming at me. What? <laughs> he bounced off? Yeah. Backboard shot. Oh well. <laughs> it's fun, man. It's fun. Yeah. Let's keep going. Remember, 16,000 jig head. You too? I think this has been awesome. It's just drifting all the way back home. Yeah, I thought the, the wind was supposed to have switched out of the south, you know? Yeah. And then we wouldn't have been up to do this. So David and I are discussing how nice it was to paddle into the wind about a mile and a half and just do a drift all the way back to the truck slowly all day long. It took literally all day to get back. Damien was also saying that him and Teresa's brother Cody normally do the same thing with the big bay boat. They go way up into the wind and then they do a long drift back. We're doing the same thing just with the Mirage Drive. Uh, once you get that speck stink on your plastic, have you notice that? Once you catch one, you just start hammering them. I think they regurgitate shrimp and stuff all over it. Once they get their stink on it, man, you really start catching them. That's why I don't like to change out my fly. Oh, well, oh, yep, there he goes. A little better fish right there. So I've actually toyed with this theory a lot. I know that if I'm not going to catch a trout, I'm not going to catch a trout until I catch a trout, if that makes any sense. I'll just wait and wait until I snag one. Then I know I've got the trout juices on it from the regurgitation and the stuff they've been eating. And then if you notice, you'll hammer them one after another once you catch the first one. Now I know what you're probably saying, specker trout are schooling fish and once you find one you find a whole bunch of them. But I swear I can tell the difference that when I catch that first one, how quickly I start hammering them and actually the more I catch, the faster I catch them. So I really feel like there's something to whatever they're putting on that lure through regurgitation. Oh, I just got some. We're just running parallel with this. Look, there he is. Fat. You too? Uh, what you got? Flounder. Up on the sandbar. Up, not a keeper, huh? Yeah. Look at that. Not a keeper. <laughs> Belly flop. Drawing to a close, man. I sure appreciate y'all hanging out with me and Damon. It's good to be back in Texas doing fishing the old haunts. If you'd like to come fishing with me in the 17T. Hit me up. Go to 30milesout.com. All the information on the guide services is there. We can do 17T. We can do regular kayaks. So y'all come on, man. Got it dialed in back here in uh, Rockport, Ranzas Pass area. See if we can get you on some fish. If it's just one person, 17T, man. I'll take you out. I'll, uh, I'll do all the pumping. All you got to do is throw, bro. All right. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell. We're gonna go take this big old ship, put it back on the trailer, and get out of here and go eat some dinner. Did you have fun today, Damien? Oh, yeah. I'm glad. We caught enough fish? I caught plenty of fish. I'm tired. You tired of catching fish? I gotta get some rest because I gotta come back tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully, you can come with me. Y'all have a good day. And I will catch you later, right here on 30 miles out.
Cars in for man. You're lucky I saw them. You never. You, you threw them in because I caught that 23. You never. You never even known they were gone. <laughs> Not if you didn't report it.